Welcome to the Prophetic Picture. My name is Michael Avalon, and this is my friend Shabazz. Shabazz, we're going to talk about a most interesting subject today, and it's dealing with the Sharia law of Islam. And I'm looking forward to this to learn more about this interesting subject. Yeah, well, the Sharia law, as you know, is the, probably the heart of Islamic law. It's, mm. it's the most important uh, factor within within the 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 canon of the Islamic world. Now, is this dealing with religion and with government, or is this dealing with just religion? The Sharia law deals with every facet aspect of of the Islamic society, okay. and it has jurisdiction over government, over the over over property, mm. social, in every aspect of the okay. human human. Uh, uh, activity, whatever it may be, the Sharia law has jurisdiction over. Okay, that's very um, interesting. Yeah, the definition for Sharia is uh, is introduce or enact mm -hmm. or pass. Hmm. Those are the words that uh, the the Sharia law uh, mm -hmm. means. I mean, in English, um, the uniqueness of the law of this Islamic law uh, is is in, as I explained. You know, it has yeah. jurisdiction over so many aspects of the individual in every uh, part of the uh, Islamic society. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it, it governs worship, uh, ritual, politics, crime, real estate, uh, so family matters, apostasy, yeah. diet. In mm -hmm. every sense, the Sharia law has jurisdiction. Okay, that is interesting. Yeah, it has, it, it, in a way, yes, you're right. I mean... Islamic economy. Islamic economy, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, um, it's um, uh, developed in integrated society, it, it, no separation of mosque and state. <laughs> okay, I was going to ask yeah. that question. Yeah. No separation of mosque uh -huh. and state. Uh, there is no such a thing as separation of mosque and state as we have in the West, mm -hmm. separation of church and state. state yeah. you know, and um, uh, so, so the Sharia law, as I said, I repeat, it has jurisdiction over every activity, everything that uh, that, that the individual is involved. Hmm. The basis uh, for uh, uh, Sharia law is the ijihad or, or the consensus. Ijihad or consensus, it, that means that um, the consensus of all the of all those involved, the parties and and so forth and so on, is based on human reasoning. Yeah, and. Um, um, for instance, Muhammad is quoted to say, the Prophet Muhammad, my people will never agree on error. Hmm. So uh, the Sharia law is, 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 uh, is a very important aspect of the Muslim life. Involve, uh, the involvement of, uh, of, of uh, uh, ijma or the whole community, the whole community is involved. Um, uh, or, and, um, in, and the whole community takes advantage of it or is under its jurisdiction. Um, some uh, claim Sharia law was fixed forever. Around 750 to 900 AD, this was the conclusion that they came that the Sharia law is fixed forever. And okay, for so this is, this, these are laws that have grown over this period of time. Yeah. And when it got to a certain point, they said, this is it. That's right. We understand that's it right. now, we're going to um, keep it. That's right. So it, it evolved. Mm -hmm. It got, uh, you know, as it as time went by, and um, of course, some Islamic people want up to date rulings. What what you know, such as in the United States, the Supreme Court. If there's a there is a there is some kind of a conflict with the Constitution, the Supreme Court may take an action or update something or mm -hmm. there must be a, amendment. A, a, yeah, an amendment okay. to the constitution. Mm -hmm. There are some Islamic uh, groups that are seeking to get this for the Sharia law as well. Mm -hmm. So that the Sharia law is not, uh, because at, 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 in its pr current position, the Sharia law is, is what it was back in uh, 700 AD. Mm -hmm. So they're saying, well, let's update it to to fit more our modern needs today. Yeah. So there's this discussion and and agree. Because uh, uh, some of our con some of our congressmen have looked at our constitution as a living document. That's right. And is this what's happening with Islam? Some are looking at it as a living document that can be changed and molded. And some want it to be uh -huh. like that. 
but but they have not been able to get far with that because uh, over uh, well, you know overall uh, the Sharia law is unchangeable. That's okay. what they're saying. That's what it says. Yeah. That's what they're saying. Mm-hmm. But there's a, there are groups that want to have the the freedom to be able to update it and you know to fit modern day necessities and needs and mm-hmm. things. Um, the analogy of the Sharia law, like cases where the Quran or Sunnah have no ruling on any given situation, then uh, comparisons with similar situations are made. Uh, you know. Um, uh, that this has happened in the past. For instance, um, where uh, where uh, where there was a consensus that they could not agree on because the Quran or the Sunnah said nothing about that particular issue, so they had to come and find how are we going to uh, meet this need. For mm-hmm. instance, dealing with let's say smoking cigarettes or something. Okay. Or, or let's say dealing with a, an issue that may not be covered in the Quran or in the Sunnah, that is sin. So the, the, there's, there's provision made that, okay, what does, what does the Quran say in, in regards to this specific p- issue uh, dealing with something else that could be applied over here? Mm. And um, in fact, um, 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 the, uh, there, are, there are cases of this that has happened in the past. Anyway, so uh, other significant factors uh, that's uh, basis for the Sharia law are uh, that that have helped build or have helped to contribute to the development of the Sharia law was the Jewish law. Hmm. The Jewish law had a big part to play in this, uh, the development of the Sharia law. Is it sort of like a template to kind of yeah, kind of uh, even the Christian canon law. Uh-huh. Uh huh. You see traces of oh, that, yeah. and and pre-Islamic Arabian tribal laws even had some inf- of, of their influence in there. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, local laws from non-Arabic Muslim territories have, so th- we see a little here and little there that have kind of contributed in the establ- establishment of this law. And, um, and even European American colonial laws have had some influence over, over the development of the Sharia law. Um, now some fundamentalist groups claim that uh, that the Sharia law is a, d- a divine infallible, and um, and uh, they are uh, they they are even prepared to fight with arms to defend mm. it, and um, and even have martyrs in in process. Um, Sharia law in the practice is uh, where in the world is the Sharia law being practiced today? Mm-hmm. Saudi Arabia is a, is one big example where the Sharia law is in practice. Some Gulf states in the Middle East they practice the Sharia law. Uh, they have, have even applied it both to their civil and criminal matters. Mm-hmm. And um, and uh, uh, other countries like other Islamic countries outside of the Middle East uh, have also adopted. Uh, or are practicing the Sharia law um, in civil and family matters, um, uh, but they have chosen to use Western law when they deal with crime. Hmm. So not all Muslim countries are united in in the usage of the Sharia law in every aspect of their uh, uh, of their of their uh, existence, their mm-hmm. their system. Um, uh, so. So the the fact that the reason why they don't use the Sharia law in some of these countries for crimes, for criminal as a criminal law, is due to to the to the strict rules of um, of uh, proving a crime mm-hmm. by Islamic criminal law. So they they chose to use Western laws to do it rather oh, than the Sharia law. Yeah, and the penalties for transgressing the Sharia law are 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 different. For adultery, which is sexual relationship between married persons and uh, and and a partner other than uh, than than somebody's spouse, mm-hmm. is typically the 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 penalty is death by stoning. Um, uh, fornication is sexual relationship outside of the marriage, uh, one hundred stripes. Um, false accusations for adultery and fornication, eighty stripes. Um, apostasy has its own uh, set of, uh, of punishment and use of alcohol beverage, 80 stripes for free persons, 40 stripes for a slave, you know, and, um, theft 
has different kind is is it's defined differently in Islam. Mm -hmm. um, amputation of right hand the first time if somebody is caught for stealing, amputation of the right foot if you if second offense. So, uh, of course, not all Islamic countries practice this. Saudi Arabia is one that does, and they're very strong uh, about it. Do you know if Do you know if Singapore is is it is it because they Islamic? use sh they use sh Sharia law, but they're not to this extent. But not to this extent. No, no. Okay. They use uh, I believe they use Western criminal law. Okay. Yeah, and in some areas they use the Sharia law. Mm -hmm. Highway robbery uh, or or war against an Islamic state is uh, execution. Mm. Um, so. Um, in Surah 5, 33, 34, it says the punishment of those who wage war against Allah and miss his messenger and strive with might and, and main for mischief through the land is execution or crucifixion or cutting off of hands and feet from opposite sides or exile from the land. So there are several different punishments for someone who's rising up against the Islamic nation. So this is actually happening today, this kind of uh, This Sharia law is in effect. Or, it's it's in, effect, in effect in some in, nations. But no. we don't hear about it. No. Okay. No, in some nations it's in effect. Okay. Um, so um, these are just examples of, of things that, that, that Sharia law is. Now Sharia law in court, um, uh, if Sharia law in court is used, if the civil laws are, uh, criminal laws are mm -hmm. dictated by the Sharia law, there's a strict demand for evidence, proof, mm -hmm. witnesses before sentence is passed. Uh, severe punishment for perjury. Uh, pardoning blood money and compensation encouraged. That means that if, if the criminal can pay money, they can be freed or, mm -hmm. or, or, uh, uh, you know, compensation in one way or another. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, there may be a requirement that if if you cause somebody to be maimed, that they have the right to maim you. Hmm. So, you know, eye for uh, eye. yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's um, interesting. Uh, accentuating circumstances in punishing for theft. Mm -hmm. uh, no amputation for stealing crucifix, chessboard, or guitar or alcohol. If somebody steals these items, mm -hmm. there's no punishment, and the reason is that these items are forbidden and are regarded as useless by, for Muslims. So there's no punishment if somebody steals these things. Yeah. <laughs> um, now, uh, so um, we see that, that, that the Sharia law it ha has its, it's extensively used in many Muslim countries, mm -hmm. but in, in some countries more extensive than others. And in some countries, criminal law is, is, is used, uh, Western law is used for criminal law rather mm. than the Sharia law. So in, in, in Iran, for instance, uh, uh, a year ago, there was a woman, some years ago, a man wanted to marry her and she, she refused to marry him. He was very upset. So he went and got some, he went and bought some acid and poured it in her, on her face. Oh. She was deformed in her face, lost her eyesight. And I mean, she, uh, she was no longer pretty to look upon. Mm. Uh, he was basically arrested, put in jail. And she, uh, she basically went and complained and they, they took him and put him in jail and stuff. This some years later. Now, uh, she, the court said that you have the right to pour acid on his face because the Sharia law says he can, she mm -hmm. can do that. So she demanded that they would, uh, they would, uh, um, give, uh, give acid with, on a, with a, um, on a, in a tranquilizer, not, uh, not a tranquilizer to give him a shot in the eyes. Mm -hmm. And put acid in his eyes so that he would lose his eyesight. That's mm -hmm. what she asked for. Mm -hmm. And she was going to be there while the doctor was going to ad administer the acid in his eyes. Mm -hmm. And so she stood there. He was pleading and begging for forgiveness. Her heart, she could not see this, but she could only hear. Her heart melted. And at that point, she cried out to the doctor, don't do it anymore. I don't want you to do this. I forgive him. And he was forgiven. He was exonerated. Hmm. And she forgave him. He never lost his eyesight. And she, she actually felt um, much better about it by forgiving. The act of forgiving mm -hmm. was healing to her. Wow. And uh, so she forgave this man who took over her beauty and her eyesight. And um, 
And it's just an example of Sharia law and example of how people relate to it in a Muslim country. So Muslim, some Muslims will choose to forgive. Hmm. Some will go all the way with, no, he needs to die or he needs to do this mm-hmm. or he needs to do that. Um, totally up to the individual. Yes. Yeah. And in, it's, it's, it, it's, it's also a fact that as the Muslim populations continue to grow in the West, specifically in Europe, mm-hmm. that many Muslims are becoming more vocal and are requiring, are requesting that the countries that they live in, those Western countries that they live in, that they would adopt the Sharia law in their, in their, in their uh, penal code or in their, uh, uh, the law of the land. In, uh, for instance, in England, the, the Muslims there would be very happy to have that as part of the law of the land. And of course, um, uh, you have to have the voice, the majority, to be able to get something right. like that done. Uh, but it's a matter of time. I mean, if, if the population continues to grow, that could finally be a reality That's in right. England. Or the majority maybe, rule. And... Or maybe even in the United States or mm-hmm. Canada or, or other places in Europe. So, mm-hmm. so because the, the Western law basically dictates that the majority, the voice of majority is what, what needs, is needed That's to right. pass a law. Mm-hmm. If the majority vote for it, so 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 these are these in essence what I just shared in these last few moments are are describing the Sharia law in a way that a Westerner can understand it and comprehend it. Okay, there is there are no other mysteries about it. This is basically plain open in the uh, presentation on the Sharia law, and uh, unless you want to add something, uh, we have a few more minutes and then we can. Uh, uh, I can give a final thought here, but well, is is it is is it the thought of of Islamic people that they would like to um, have large populations to be able to obtain Sharia law? You know, there 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 are no proofs. There's no proof that, to prove that this is a motive. Mm-hmm. But there's sen- rumors that are floating. There are around, rumors that are right? floating around, yeah. and since some uh, legislative bodies within these Western U- European countries, some Islamic um, organizations mm-hmm. uh, have requested or have silently spoken about this to the government, or have mentioned or have given the idea, mm-hmm. there has been leaks of this information that has caused people to be alarmed. Mm-hmm. That is it possible that we're going to have Sharia law in England, for instance? There are mm-hmm. a lot of people that are worried about this. Personally, Mike, I doubt it. Personally, I doubt that that's going to happen in England. Um, it doesn't fit prophecy. Mm-hmm. No, it doesn't. It doesn't fit prophecy. The Bible prophecy is clear that that um, the last day events are going to be uh, heralded from a Christian corner. That's right. Or at least claiming to be Christian corner, mm-hmm. corner, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad, you, I'm glad you brought that out because there's a lot of people that are looking to the East, the Eastern question, they call it. Matter of fact, this question, the Eastern question, has been a subject for many years, maybe a hundred. <laughs> and, and people are always looking to the East. Matter of fact, um, this is interesting. I, I got a, a beautiful um, CD of the Bible, and the whole Bible is on the CD. And as, as I was listening to the book of Revelation, because I, I, I try to memorize Scripture as much as I can and listen to the Word of God, and I'm listening to Revelation, and when it gets to uh, uh, Revelation 17, where it talks about the great whore, um, all of a sudden, Islamic music comes on. Hmm. Because the world is looking at the king of the north as, which, you know, we talk about in Daniel 11 and all that, they're looking at the king of the north as Islam. That's right. When Bible prophecy doesn't say it's Islam. No, it doesn't. Because like you're saying, it's going to come out of Christianity, the movement that's going to try to destroy um, true Christianity. That's right. So that's, I'm glad you brought that up because that is uh, a lot of confusion going on in the world. Um, a lot of evangelicals um, are, are looking that way. And unfortunately, there's even some Seventh-day Adventists that's that right. are looking that that's way. That's right. And it's, it's causing confusion among God's people in the world. That's right. And in conclusion, uh, uh, I don't believe we need to be worried about possible Sharia law in the near future, in the f- far mm-hmm. distant future, in regards to having a Sharia law in the West. Yeah. If if it happens, I, I highly doubt that it will happen. Mm-hmm. It will be a very small my, a co- country mm-hmm. because it's just not going to happen. And um, but 
I hope that our viewers have uh, taken advantage of this segment of our program and that um, you've learned something about the Sharia law. And we hope that we, you will tune in in future programs, both this program and uh, other programs that this station airs. And we wish you God's blessing.